Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have an amazing video for you guys today. I found an article that you guys absolutely do not want to miss. It's coming from marketwatch.com and I will have a link to this article down in the description below. Now check this out. Continuing home prices declare, uh, deceleration. Here's what five economists and real estate pros predict will happen to the housing market this year. Home prices to mortgage rates. Here are the pros top predictions. Now, remember, these are just predictions and I am going to give you my personal prediction, whether I agree with them or I don't agree with them. But let's see, what are they saying? What are these five top economists saying? Well, let's jump in. When will the price growth really slow down? Will mortgage rates continue their upward climb? What do we need to know if we're trying to buy a house now? Okay, these are all questions people have, blah, blah, blah. Mortgage rates could continue to rise. I definitely do agree. It, but it may depend on the economy. I, I see mortgage rates continue to rise because, you know, believe it or not, our um, inflation is just through the roof. Let's uh, hear it. They say Realtor.com chief economist Danielle Hale says it depends on a lot of factors, including the jobs report. If job reports is too strong, it is likely to spark new uptick in mortgage rates in anticipation of uh, bigger Fed hikes. Now, yeah, we do have good uh, uh, jobs right now, and here's the deal: that because we have a we had a a, a employee shortage, right? Um, th that caused companies to have to raise their prices. So remember, there was this huge fight on like raising the minimum wage. Well, what ended up happening is the whether they raised the minimum wage or not, workers were like, no, we're not going into work. Right. When you were looking at like low end jobs, like say like anything under twenty dollars an hour, people were like, no, forget it. I'm not working. Right. So then companies were kind of freaked out. They're like, OK, fine, then we'll pay you more. Right. And slowly as they raised the 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 salaries, then workers began coming back. But here's the problem now, because all this new employment came in at a higher rate. What do you think that's going to do to inflation? That's basically what inflation is, is, you know, where everything just becomes more expensive. Now, you know, those factory workers that went from $18 an hour to $32 an hour, right? That that money is going to be passed down to the consumer. So when you go buy cheese and, and whatever, you know, the the cost of cheese goes up you know, X amount, which then we see it in our pocketbooks and then we end up making less money. So it is a whole crazy thing. And that is inflation at its at its at, it, at the heart. Right. And the problem is that the only way to handle inflation is really to cool off the economy and slow it down. And as you know, you, you slow it down by raising the rates, making it harder to borrow money. Right. And this goes to businesses and all types of things. The problem is when you when you slow down the economy, then smaller businesses go out of business. We have layoffs, but all that, believe it or not, is semi good for for the housing market and for the economy in general, because things are too expensive and, and we need to bring we need to cull off the the, the, the prices because they're, we are at unsustainable levels, in my opinion. Now, let me keep reading real mortgage rates, the mortgage rates that inflation rate that um, the mortgage rate less than the less than inflation rate are negative for the first time in 40 years. So mortgages are not expensive as they look when they're controlling for inflation. Inflation itself tends to serve as a floor for the house price growth with most quarters over the, uh, the last 40 and 50 years. Uh, uh, facing higher home prices growth and consumer price growth. OK, so they're basically saying, well, you know, the mortgages are going up with inflation. OK, things are going up, guys. It's not good. Uh, home price appreciation will cool due to the housing shortage. House prices continue to rise in the following months. Although inventory is improving, it will remain tight as home builders have cut down in single family home production. So uh, home builders are basically slowing down because they anticipate that with the higher interest rates, a lot of people are not going to be able to afford a house, but it's costing builders a lot of money to build a house. Remember, materials are more expensive. The work workers are more expensive. The land is more expensive. So builders are not going to take that chance to build a house, you know, paying these high, high salaries and high prices for for the materials when people can't even qualify for the house, you know, where buyers are not going to go in and buy it. You know, when 
a built house already, an older house is on the market for cheaper than the new house, right? It's just, it, there. that's how, that's the quickest way to go out of business. So they're saying there will be a continuing home price deceleration. Nevertheless, home prices will likely to continue to experience double digit uh, over the year appreciation in August. So if we jump real quick into the uh, Redfin weekly housing data, we see that it, I wanted to show you this in Miami, for example. Now, this blue line right here, 2019 the black line is 2020 i have a link to this uh website down in the description if you want to take a look at it so basically the prices in miami florida you know two years three years ago were uh, 316 and now they're 476 this is unsustainable growth brought to you by coronavirus shutdowns and then uh, the fed uh, zero uh, interest rates that we had for almost a year and a half the people with the money took advantage of it and then because of coronavirus a lot of people did not want to put their houses on the market because you know nobody wants to buy a house when everything is locked down and people are dying and whatnot so what ended up happening is it ballooned the house prices right because there was uh, many buyers and little little supply and the buyers had um, the buyers were able to have access to very cheap money right basically free money so if you look at that new listing uh, median price though because we're having shortage supply shortages you know in miami people are saying no they're trying to list their high houses even higher right they don't care what they're selling what they're selling is clearly going down but they're not they don't care they want to list higher 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 this is a sign to me that there's a lot of people possibly in miami that bought in this time and they are scared to go underwater and they probably bought in this peak right now guys i will definitely believe that the peak is behind us and we're definitely going to see home prices going down the problem is that we are still at a supply crunch now we still have a little bit more supply than 2019 this is the new listings but again we need this number to go up and the only thing that's keeping the prices up right now is a supply issue. But regardless of how you split it or how you see it, you cannot have a growth this much so quickly because people's salaries did not go up this much in the last three years. So basically what this means is that the community cannot afford the house to, to live in, in the, sorry, people cannot afford to live in the communities which in which they live in and that is a recipe for a crash so if anything if you take anything away from this video is that just that is that basically at the end of the day is you need you need the money you need to make money to pay the mortgage and if like you have good jobs you know going you know if the jobs are not there the jobs if the jobs are not there to support this price increase then you we are going into a disaster zone truth be told so guys my uh, you know my advice is here's my advice and this is my opinion advice if you are in the market if you're trying to sell a house your window to sell a house and get these record high prices is closing in super duper fast so if you were thinking about selling a house this is it this is your window okay your window is closing very quickly i think definitely we have crossed the peak already that's my opinion now if you're buying a house totally different story we have now crossed over from a seller's market to a buyer's market we are way way inside a buyer's market buyers are now calling the shots across the country buyers have the upper hand here's the deal that sellers are still trying to hold on to those high prices why because the supply issues are still not there so as a buyer you want to just lay back dude don't don't panic buy just relax because you're as as there's more inventory in the market and less buyers in the market those prices are going to come shooting down they're going to be coming down and they're going to be coming down quicker than you think so as a buyer i would say relax take a deep breath you are going to have an amazing buying opportunity really, really quick. And as a seller, man, your days are basically numbered because I believe that in the next three, four years, 
it is going to be bear, bear, bear. It is going to go down, down, down because, you know, you can't shut down the US economy during coronavirus, you know, for like six months and expect things to go back to normal. That's not the way things work, right? And then, you know, what they did was they lowered interest rates so people could have free money. And then on top of that, they printed money and gave free money to people. Well, we are going to definitely pay um it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt it's gonna we're gonna be paying for coronavirus for a long time and it's not just the us things are happening all over the world remember we are a world economy so if we have you know remember europe shut down harder than us longer than us so that eventually is going to come to us right because look at the euro euro is like almost like one to one to the to the dollar so when their problems come on to us we're gonna get hit china's having problems too Okay, now China's having a lot of problems. They shut down for a very, very long time also. So those problems eventually are gonna come to us. So we are in a, a very problematic uh, state right now where coronavirus definitely created a lot of problems and we're gonna definitely see, um, we're gonna see tough times for some, but hopefully if you are in the market to buy a house and you do have a good job, I would say you know, hold on a little bit, save a little bit more money because you're definitely gonna have amazing buying opportunities. Now, I wanna go ahead and just say one thing. Everybody that's been watching my videos lately, I wanna send a huge, huge thank you. It is so nice to see, you know, I just started this channel and I'm getting so many positive feedbacks and so many good, great comments and it is just so great to be a part of this channel and I'm having so much fun doing it. So now, if you guys like these videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.